Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another video on ForgottenGuns.com. I am Ian the Human, and I am here today on a UNSC base, which shall be unnamed for security purposes, taking a look at the classic UNSC pump action shotgun. Joining me is the UNSC Petty Officer John 117. Thanks for having me. This is the M90 Close Assault Weapon System rifle, chambered in 8 gauge magnum. And by looks alone, this is a uniquely interesting shotgun. The M90 was a common close range battle implemented weapon in the service of the UNSC throughout the Human Covenant War. What started this was at the end of the war, the UNSC was in need of a good infantry rifle that was good for close quarter combat while also packing a punch. What ended up happening was weapon system technologies began a contract with the UNSC and started producing these shotguns. The peak of these weapons was around 2552, and like with the Winchester Model 1897 in World War I, the war shortly ended after its implementation, officially ending in December of 2552. I've personally loved the M90 during my deployment against Covenant forces. It was an all-around easy-to-use pump action. Getting back to the gun itself, the M90 resembles a beefier version of a Beretta M3 shotgun. However, one of the biggest differences between that and the M90 is the type and size of the ammo it takes, as the 8-gauge shell is moderately bigger than the 12-gauge commonly seen. Now like the M3, the M90 works on a pump system for chambering and ejecting a round, but resembles a kel KSG and having a dual tubular internal magazine that can hold 6 round each, yielding a total of 12 plus 1 rounds. Even with 12 rounds, you fly through them when in combat, and it feels like you run out of ammo within 2 seconds. The iron sights are functionally okay, but leave room for improvement, offering a night vision glow for dark environments. The safety on this rifle is virtually identical to Mossberg-styled safeties, but sitting right behind the trigger. The pump itself is mostly polymer, like the stock and grip, but also has a built-in flashlight. The stock offers an adjustable cheek weld, which can be somewhat finicky in pushing in. Now to look inside. The frame is a titanium-milled receiver with a reinforcement near the... What was that? Warning! Base is under attack. This is not a drill. I repeat, this is not a drill. All units to Gateway Alpha for reinforcement. Well, looks like I got a job to do. I'll be taking this. Stay here. You should be safe in this room. Okay, well, it looks like we'll have to cut this video short. The M90 is an interesting firearm that has served in the line of the UNSC for several decades and proves itself to be a reliable weapon for all who use it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.